guys, Niels from the back, Black Dragon Forge. I've had a, quite a few guys asking me about uh, my mini mill setup and the, the watering system or the cooling system on it. Um, it's home built, it is devised based on uh, a lot of articles I read online. Um, it's a really zero to low budget system. Uh, the only thing I, I spent serious money on was uh, that there, a uh, small little quarter inch uh, <coughs> cranky valve there. Uh, as you can see, I need to still just tighten that down. Uh, and then a quarter inch little plastic pipe that goes the back of the system and we're gonna go down uh, right up to here. This I've got a, a little crate box storage thing with a lid. All right, uh, drill two holes at the back and we'll walk around the other side so you can actually see where. So the holes at the back, just never mind the extensions on top of it. Um, let's just do that so you can actually see the two holes, clear pipe. This is the feed up and this is the return. Um, so if we go into this whole thing, uh, the return goes into an old coffee can. And the coffee can has been drilled with holes on the side and there's a magnet at the bottom. So all the return with all the gunk and the metal gets dumped in there, stuck, sticks to the magnet, water rises, falls through there and gets into the reservoir. Um, the feed is a little fish tank pump. Yeah, just make sure that the height of the pump um, can do at least 1.2 meters. Um, that gives you a, a nice steady stream. So that's it. Really cheap. Uh, the pump, and you can see I built the, the stand for this so that that sits right at the bottom, cleans it up, and uh, closes nicely, and it looks neat. Easy as that. Okay, so at the back, uh, so you've got feed pipe coming up. Uh, coming from there, pushes it up, blap, done. Okay, the return pipe goes from, and where the hell is the feed? Oh, here we go. So it goes from there, is down into the box and into uh, the, the coffee can. And that's about it. Uh, what I also added was a dedicated power source. So uh, top one turns on the actual mill itself. Okay, so there you go, it runs, and the bottom switch just turns on the little, little pumpy. And there we go, and now she spits, and with this one I can obviously regulate the amount of water that Oh crap, that's too much. See, on the floor. Don't do that. Okay, so you can now regulate the water and the flow and the whatever. And obviously there is a cutting fluid in the water, water-soluble cutting oil, and the spec on the machine. So let's just do that. Let me switch all of this off. Um, spec on the machine. There we go. That is it. Macafric, so I don't know if it's um, done. I bought it a second hand. Uh, she does the job for me. No, I don't use her for knife making. She actually gets used to cut slots on uh, burner parts. So let's just quickly run over here. Uh, she, slots, she cuts that slot only. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what she does. Cuts a little slot. Done. Um, the rest of the burner parts gets done on the larger one which obviously now runs the same cooling system and there we go there's its little box and power sources and the whole work so uh, let's just see oh we've got no power on there so we'll switch that on uh, then we'll run back here so now that one spits water okay and this is a different cooling system because this one runs at a, a much higher speed yeah you also notice the nozzle and the feed and everything is uh, a lot thicker so that's it uh, long story short, let me just switch her off. Long story short, uh, the only additions we're still going to be doing is uh, overhead lighting on this. Um, so two LED systems or lights sitting here uh, focusing on this. And the reason we're going for LED and not uh, fluorescence is fluorescent flickers apparently. Uh, and you can't see what this thing does. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll test. But anyway, so, so that is the little systems and the water cooling. Have fun, enjoy, remember to share. Cheers.